Hi, this is Dawn Atterbury at everilluminated.com and today I wanted to show you how quick it is to use the free image loader from the Album Cafe. I love the Album Cafe. I've used their templates for years and I really like their accordion albums. I get them printed at White House Custom Color and the templates are formatted to print at White House Custom Color. So you use the image loader, it's super easy, and then I just get it printed at White House. So let me show you. I'll share my screen. Okay, here we go. This is the Album Cafe's template for a wallet accordion book. And you can see that it has all the layers here. I'm going to bring up the image loader real quick from Window Extension Image Loader. Here we go. We're going to add images. Brings up a folder, then I go find what I've already set aside for this. Let me find it. Okay, so you'll see, well, the first one was a vertical, so I'm going to start here. And I double click on it, it brings it up. And then I can um, hit shift so I can pull the corner. And you'll notice that these blue lines here, these are the safe lines. So I want everything that I want to be printed inside this, this inside blue square. So then we're good. So then we hit the checkbox. And now next is another vertical. Okay, so we're going to pick something else. Let's see. Let's do this one. Double click. Looks pretty good. I always usually pull it and kind of move it around where I want it. Uh, I might want a little bigger this time so she can fill the space better. There we go. And that's okay. And then notice the next one. I have to be thinking of the next size. It's a horizontal and there's a line in the middle of it. So I don't want her to be in the very middle. If she is, then her face will be folded in half. We don't really want that. So let's do this one. And sometimes I want to see, you can kind of go between the two blue lines. You're taking a little bit of a chance. I try not to do it if I can help it. So that works out pretty well. Check box. And then the fourth one is more of a square. So let's see, this will probably work. Again, paying attention to the safe lines. I try to stay in the blue line. And I notice where the fold lines are just in case. So let's move her up. I'll do okay. Now we go back and I go, well, I'm not really sure I wanted this image in here. I think I'm going to put something else here, this third one. So on this third one, then I go to three, photo number three. I click on that layer and then I go replace image. That brings it up again. And then I find another image, say I wanted to do instead, say I wanted to do this one. And it replaces the other one with this new image. Again, I move it around like I want to, down a little bit. And that's it. Okay, and then you save it as Photoshop and then save as JPEG um, after flattening it. Then the front cover, it's the same thing. You just you do the same thing on all these. The only thing about this particular one is you have to go and change the person's name in here. So you would go in here and highlight it. It'll ask. I don't have this particular font. So it replaces the font with something else and it works just fine. I've always done it. It looks really great. And then there's a back, a front spread. Same thing. Um, I, um, this ribbon is beautiful. I just um, don't want to be limited by the um, the image that I choose. So a lot of times I just don't use that particular slot. So I would fill all these in again. If you want to see it, I'll do it real quick. Uh, add images. We've got a horizontal going first. Uh, let's try that one. You get the idea. It's all the same. Um, for the back, 
I created this a long time ago, just one time. I just save it as a JPEG file. That's my high school senior business. And that's all you have to do. I love the Album Cafe. You can go there at thealbumcafe.com. Yes, we are affiliates of them, but the only reason we're affili affiliates of them is because they deliver a beautiful product. I love it. Thanks for watching. We hope that you love thealbumcafe.com as much as we do and that you go and visit everilluminated.com for inspiration and education. We're accepting submissions for our featured uh, sessions and articles, so take a look. And we're always looking for people to interview for our podcast. So if you know anybody that would like to be interviewed, please just let me know at dawn at everilluminated.com. Have a great day. Thanks, you guys.